Hello class, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a cavalier elevational oblique drawing um, and object. So open Rhino and go to your object. This is my furniture. As you can see, um, uh, this dimension is the same as this dimension. That may not be the same for you, but if it's not, you can easily put a box around this. So I put a box around it, and I'm going to do all the operations to this box. And it will do the same operations to the furniture inside. So I'm going to group. These are grouped now. So I'm going to go into top view, top view. And the first thing I'm going to do is scale 1D. I type scale 1D. You click origin. I always choose the same one here in the lower left hand corner. Then I'm going to type in the scale factor, which is 0 0.7075. Enter. And you click a scale direction and you click the Y direction. Now, you type in shear, you click the same origin point and a reference point which is the y direction and you type 45 degrees. Enter, it should look like this. Now I'm going to go into the right view. This is what it should look like. And I type shear again. I choose the origin point in the lower left hand corner. I click the Y direction and I type negative 45 degrees. Enter. It should look like this. And then I go to the top view and you can see that it's worked properly. All of the eleva elevational information is the same and the distances are the same beyond the elevation. So I'm going to ungroup this and delete the box. Now I have my elevation oblique. I can confirm that this is correct by measuring the distances by typing in distance with my project on. Here's the project button. This is still three feet. And the receding information is still the same, still three feet. I can then make 2D. Um, okay. And you can see that it's now produced an elevation drawing. Um, I can also do the same operation to the room that it's placed in. So you can do all these same steps to make an elevation oblique of the room that it's in as well. And you can use this information that's 3D to make renderings as well. So you can make rendered elevation obliques. Hope that was helpful. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.